morning. Today, we're attending a traditional paniiri, a.k.a. party. The community comes together and celebrates, eats, drinks, live music. It's a great time. We are in the island of Ikaria in one of the world-famous paniiris, celebrating with everyone here in the community. And some of the most famous paniiria can be attended by even thousands of people. People come from all over the world to celebrate in the Ikarian paniiri. So, let's go. Today, I am taking Daniel to a traditional Greek festival called a panigiri. In one of our previous videos, he showed me what a Mexican party was. So today, it's his turn to experience traditional Greek culture. Opa! Any of you out there have seen my big fat Greek wedding? That's what's in store. Excited to just throw him in there and see what happens. Opa! Are you excited about today? I'm ready to eat some lamb. That's what I'm ready for. How about dancing? Are you ready to dance? Come on, bro. Oh, come on! I read that this place is way up in the mountains of Ikaria, so we gotta get going. I put it in Google Maps, so hopefully it leads us to the right place, but we'll see. Can't always trust Google Maps because it told us this is where it was, but there's a fence here. We have to turn back around down a rocky road down the mountain. I've just abandoned Google Maps and just using it a regular old fashioned map. It's part of the journey, getting lost, getting rerouted. This is the most random place that I've ever gone to to party. Literally in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we made it! Yes! Oh, I'm so glad we made it. I have no clue what the setup of this panayiri is. Uh, what it's gonna look like, how many people are coming. So this is a really exciting experience. We're taking you guys along with us to experience a panigiri in Ikaria. This is definitely a brand new experience for me. Um, apparently you're supposed to come early, get a tablecloth, and reserve your table because it's gonna fill up fast. At a panigiri, you have to come and pick out your table and then you set it up. You have to grab one of these. Here you can put all your plates, your dishes, your silverware and bring it over to your table. Now it's pretty early, but it's supposed to get pretty wild. We're gonna grab two spoons, forks, plates, glasses, for the drinks. So right behind me is the kitchen where they're cooking all of the food for all the guests here at the Panigiri. They have roasted lamb here, boiled lamb too. They have french fries, salads, all that good stuff. So it's traditional for them to cook lamb. So I'm gonna try the first bite. He's being so kind and letting me try a little bit. Cheers. Today we are celebrating Saint Isodoros, or Agus Isodoros. So everyone around us is saying Kronia Pola which means pretty much celebrations to St. Isodoros. People are starting to trickle in, and I think this place is gonna get super packed by the end of the day, which is exciting. People are coming from all around to celebrate today at this funny giddy. We actually just met a couple from Toronto and a couple from Wales. In Nicaria, it is known for people aging really, really well and youthfully. And you can tell from everybody around, it's definitely in their 70s and they're just cooking smoking and having a good time. There's definitely a lot of older people here ready to party on a Sunday. Obviously we have some young people here too. It's a good mix, but it's nice to see the whole community coming out. I was just informed that 800 kilos of lamb are gonna be cooked this evening. I can't wait for that. We just got some traditional Icardian wine, homemade here that they serve at the Banayiri. I also may have neglected to tell Daniel that he was supposed to dilute the homemade wine throughout the event. Oops. Cheers to that. Opa! I was expecting people to be here, but I didn't expect several hundred people to be here. Wow. Olga just went to get some lamb, so it should start to get good. All right, so the roasted lamb is ready. I'm gonna go get some for Daniel and I. Once the word got out that the roasted lamb was ready, people quickly got in line to get their orders. We Greeks take our roasted lamb very seriously. You can argue it's one of the reasons why so many people attend Panigiri. It's part of our DNA, to say the least. Most people got at least a kilo of lamb to take back to their table. All right, I got the lamb. <laughs> I bring you lamb. There you go. We just got two pounds of lamb, so let's feast. The music just started and let's get this party going. Opa! 
Vivi Llamas and Ronya Pola. The Panigiri really brings people together. We made friends with so many people sitting next to us. Starting to liven up here now. Let's do this. Even our friend from Wales started feeling the Greek vibes. Give him a like for those moves. Welcome to the party. I'm about to make Daniel dance. I don't know if I've had enough wine for this, but here we go. What you're seeing on the screen here is how us Greeks traditionally dance. I'm so glad that we got here early because it is packed now. Let me show you. Holy crap. And it's only 2.38 and this is supposed to go all night long. From a Greek panigiri to a Mexican fiesta, these events really bring people together. During these lively gatherings, our culture's true essence is revealed, showcasing the love for celebration and the appreciation of life's precious moments. Mexicans and Greeks may be like apples and oranges. But... In the end, uh, we all fruit. Thank you so much for watching. There was a huge line to go to the bathroom because there's only one bathroom. I decided to hike up and, well, just it was a good view. <laughs>